Ow! Ah, what are you doing? I'm gonna be a little bit more careful running around like that. You late for something, or...? Yeah, well, your boots are, uh... Quite hard-toed. So this is what being in the center of this feels like. <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, anyway. I'd say it's nice to run into you, but you run into me. I don't know who you are. Apart from that. <laughs> don't worry about it, I'll be fine. I'm a big, strong, tough man, after all. And who are you? Hmm. Well, nice to meet you. I wish it had been under less painful circumstances for me, but hey -o. <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm British, so I will wind you up about it a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll guess I'll see you around. Mm hmm? What am I doing? Well... I had a half day, so... I'm off for the rest of the day. I was gonna go for a walk. Do I ever wanna grab a drink with you? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good idea. Why? You seem like a sweet young girl and I... To be perfectly frank with you, I'm a corrupting influence. <laughs> so I, uh... I don't think you want to get to know me like that. Hmm? <laughs> no, I really don't think you do. Because I'm the guy they warn you not to fall for, that's why. And you running into me is not some sort of fateful encounter. If anything, it would be bad luck. I demand a lot from a partner. Yet, you do look at me with a certain Hunger. Hmm. And here is me thinking, sweet young vanilla girl. Well, I guess we can walk and talk a little. Come on. So. <laughs> Do you go on impromptu dates with every stranger you run into? Ah, only the tall handsome ones. Understandable. <laughs> Here's I suppose a more devious question. Did you run into me on purpose? Uh-huh. Hmm, more mischievous by the minute. Well, we'll train that out of you. Hmm? Oh, I didn't say anything. Listen, I... Don't get me wrong, you're actually exactly my type. But, uh... <laughs> I'm still very unsure that... All in all, this is really going to pan out the way you are hoping. 
Well, my guess is what you're hoping for is... Maybe a fun time like you read in certain kinds of books. Or certain kinds of... Writings... Online... Fantasies, that sort of thing. And see, the thing is... I've known a lot of girls who love the fantasy and are quite scared of the reality. Hmm. So as much as you would be a hmm, fun project to say the least, I would advise you at least think about it quite a lot more than just running into someone in the street. Hmm. What do I know about fantasies? <laughs> I have known some wild ones. I think I could probably guess quite a lot of yours. I think I could probably tell you some stories which match up rather well. You have to stop smiling at me like that. Because <laughs> it's going to become very hard for me to not claim what I want. Oh, you know exactly what I want. So if I put my hand up... Uh, I'm trying so hard to stay well behaved with you. Why do you push me? If there's one thing that will really drive me over the edge, it's... Being teased. Again, it's very hard for a man like me to not... Take what I want. So the fact that we've stopped walking because we're standing outside my flat right now should probably be your last chance. I recommend you continue walking. Probably don't take my number, probably get far, far away. Even though I don't think you're going to take it, are you? But this is your last chance to run away from the big bad wolf before I sink my claws into you. Let's go. Oh, you are going to be fun. I don't think I've even got your name yet. Hmm. Well... Tell me. Is this a brave new world for you? Yes, well... Don't worry, I will... be very... patient with you at first. And the key to this kind of relationship is that... you can still always talk to me, and... tell me of things you are and are not yet comfortable with. 
Which reminds me, we will need a phrase to be used when you are no longer comfortable. Do you have anything in mind? <laughs> okay. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just a unusual choice. <laughs> no, we are not going there right now. Well, what you're thinking of would go on on another website, if you know what I mean. We've just met each other. And while in a physical, mental point of view, we were obviously compatible that way, relationships like this require an element of trust on both sides that, um, well, you don't develop in a 10 minute walk. <laughs> so even if you wish to skip all the other aspects of a normal relationship, we still have things to talk about. Again, I need to know what you know. I want to hear every fantasy you've ever had. I want you to hear every fantasy that runs through my mind when I look at you. And I want you to be begging for me to make every single one of them happen. <laughs> but that, I'm afraid, has to happen another time. <laughs> well, one of the first rules of this is that we both know you need me. I choose when we're here. So take a little look around. Get to know where you'll be spending so much of your free time. But don't get too comfortable yet. You have to earn it. And the first thing you need to show me is that you want it. And until then, get out of my flat. Yeah, really. Come on, out. Ah, but before you go, give me your number. <laughs> It wasn't a request. No, I won't give you my number. You will give me yours. And I will contact you when I want to. Number now. There, that's more like it. Good. Hmm. I suppose we're seeing such promise so far. I can give you one little taste. Until we meet again. <laughs> <laughs>